it. Kuroki's wife is so beautiful. She sure is. I'm Tokusa. I'm attending my friend Kuroki's wedding. Uh, <gasps> Kuroki, I'm pregnant. It's your child. Let's live happily together, all three of us. The door opened up suddenly. An uninvited guest. Ah! I remember seeing her before. Stalker? That's right. I dated her a couple of years back. She would wait in front of my door and write nasty letters and put it into my postal box. She would ding-dong ditch me night after night. It got so bad that I had to talk with my ex. Yuzuri has parents. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. Her parents said that she was dating a man who treated her with disregard and cruelty up until then. Her heart broke, and they said that's probably why she was acting like that. I understand now. I don't want to create a huge fuss since we have a wedding coming up, so I won't call the police. However, when is Yuzuria coming? I'm sorry. We tried calling her, but she wouldn't pick up. The week before, when her father told her that we were going to have a talk... Is that true, father? That's great! Great? Do you understand what you did to him? I'm angry at you, you know! <laughs> Hey! Well, she seemed enthusiastic, so I thought she would come to talk, but... Yes? Hello? Is that Yuzuriha? I knew where she was right away. She was standing in front of my house. More specifically, she was halfway into my house! What in the world are you doing?! My neighbor immediately noticed something wrong and reported her to the police. The police call that came to me was actually from the police. Hello, this is the police. Yuzuria! Hey, you! What? what?! I realized when she heard that we were going to have a talk, she was happy not because she wanted to see me, but because she knew what day I wouldn't be in my house. So, what did she want to do once she was inside your house? Who knows? Yuzuria showed me what was inside her bag when she was trying to break into my house. There were two matching cups, pajamas, and a newly wedded magazine inside. Uh, well, glad that's over. It's all okay now. She's been arrested, right? No, she hasn't. Here's a photo of Yuzuriha. If you happen to see her, please contact either me or the police. <laughs> sure thing. I didn't want to have a wedding under these circumstances. Uh, uh, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. The wedding has to go smoothly, right? If she's going after you, there's no way she would try to harass you when there's a huge gathering of people! You have a point. Thanks, Tokusa. And now we're here. Kuroki! Is this woman insane? The heck is that? Kuroki stalker. Stalker? That's crazy! I was wrong. This woman really is a lunatic! Kuroki, his soul left his body! Dear guest, come this way. Let me go! I am the real fiancé! I even have this child! Can't you see my belly? Yeah, we can see it. The watermelon stripes, that is. Kuroki! Kuroki! Watermelon? Watermelon? Kuroki! Watermelon? The watermelon! Glad the baby came out healthy! Hey, hey, stop me! <laughs> you... You're a bunch of jerks! Well, well. Uh, seems like the evil has come to pass. Everyone under this roof are people who only have blessings for this couple. Let us sing hymns together! Yuzuriha, after fleeing, was immediately captured by the guards and sent to the police. I can't say that the ceremony went as peacefully as I would say it would, but... <laughs> as long as those two are happy, I'm good. You have my gratitude, Watermelon. My name is Takusa. First, let me tell you about my family. My father and brother were terrible people. My brother never once tried to look for work. He never went outside. He was a hardcore shut-in. My father would harass and hurl insults at my mother, whose health was very fragile. It's just a cold, right? Hurry up and make dinner. <coughs> I'm so 
sorry. My mother didn't die from any illness. It was my father. My father killed her. After my mother's funeral, I immediately moved out. I knew that my father and brother wouldn't be all right living by themselves, but I honestly didn't care. Well, actually, I knocked up a girl and got married, so we bought a house and moved. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. It's exciting, isn't it, Takusa? Yes, it is. I thought I had made a fresh start in life. I thought I had anyway. Tokusa. Yes, mother-in-law? Would it be possible for you to get in touch with your family? I know you don't get along very well. But they are this child's grandfather and uncle. Just once. Okay? Hmm. My grandchild. I see. And? Nothing. That's all. See? That's just how they are. My in-laws tried to build a relationship with my father and brother. But it didn't end well. Of course it didn't. Visiting your mother's grave? Your brother and I already went. Oh, I see. Liars. They never brought a single flower to her grave. One look at the gravestone, and you could tell immediately. Those two never came once. I felt bad for the two of them, but there was no way their efforts would pay off. I'm sorry about it, too. After a while, my in-laws gave up. A few years later, I've brought the Chiron Bond. Is anyone home? As always, there is no one around. Does anyone even live here anymore? It opened. Yeah! Are you Mr. Takusa? Yes. It appears that your father passed away while collapsed in the entrance of his home. The cause was determined to be from terminal liver cancer. It's amazing he was able to live this long without going to the hospital. Ah, I knew it. I thought it was something like this when the local police called me. Dirt colored skin, arms like sticks. It looks like he was lying in the entrance for three days. During those three days, where was my brother and what was he doing? You finally picked up, bro. What do you want, Takusa? I've been trying to call you all morning. What have you been doing? I was busy playing Pachiko. Were you playing Pachiko for three days? Huh? What are you talking about? Today, Dad was taken to the hospital. Apparently he has terminal cancer. These past few days, did you notice anything? Hmm? Huh? Not really, no. I see. Ah. Uh. I think I'm going to be sick. Two weeks later, Dad died. There was nothing we could do. I saw my brother for the first time in ages at Dad's funeral. He was using Dad's savings and pension to survive, but now he'll have to support himself. That was the last time I saw my brother. I'm going now! Have a good day! Darling, we have to hurry, too, or we'll miss the bus. You go on ahead. What? Just go. Hello? Hello, this is the police. At your familiar residence, we found the body of someone we believe to be your brother. The neighbors contacted the police to report a foul odor when we went to investigate. We'd like permission to investigate the rest of the house. Yes, please go ahead. The condition of the body was terrible. Maybe because the body was left undisturbed throughout the summer. It didn't seem like there was a struggle, nor did there appear to be any visible injuries. The most recent receipt was from quite a while ago. We don't suspect any kind of foul play was involved. Because the body is so decomposed, it is difficult to determine the cause of death, but we think it was due to some kind of illness or disability. I see. Are you okay? You don't look so good. It doesn't look like you've slept much. 
Ever since your brother died. It's not like that. Even if he was not a great brother, he was the last of Tokusa's family. I'll leave him in peace for now. I can't tell Satsuji that I'm the one who killed my brother. Something like this. To the world, I am the younger brother who just learned of the estranged older brother's death. But that's not true. After our father died, I periodically called my brother. I knew he wouldn't pick up, but I would call and hang up after letting it ring several times. Okay, his phone hasn't been shut off this month either. It was an easy way to check that he was still alive. He probably found some kind of work since he would be in trouble living alone without one. Is what I thought when the phone would continue to ring. One day, my expectations were shattered. The phone service was cut off. The number you are trying to reach is no longer available. No longer in service. I understood no how little my brother could do for himself. I knew if I left things as they were, that my brother would probably die. Yet I did nothing. Three months passed, and I was very certain of it. Then half a year later, the police called. On that day, I was thankful my wife and daughter weren't around. We believe the deceased is your older brother. On that day, I... Yes, thank you for your help. Probably had a terrifying expression on my face. I knew if I left my brother alone, that he would die, and he did. I let my brother die. But after the funeral ended, I felt as if I had become possessed. What I had done to my brother was exactly what my brother had done to my father. What do you know? We were family after all. We're all the same. Ah, I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm Yuri. I live with my husband and young daughter in the countryside. That park was fun, right, Tsuji? It's pretty late. How about we go to a restaurant? Sure. Yay, a restaurant! Tsuji, what do you want to eat? Udon noodles! <laughs> There's no udon. How about the kids' lunch? Hmm. I suppose that will do. Talking fancy, I see. <laughs> we seem like a normal family. But my husband has been cheating hey, on me for three years. There's juice, too. Yay! At first, I didn't believe he was the kind of person to do such a thing. However, the more I looked into it, the more I doubted him. Come on, now. Come now, wipe your face. Ah, you got ketchup on your clothes. However, I don't want to ask my husband about it. I'm doing this for my daughter, and... I love him more than anything. If I put up with it, I could keep up our perfect family life. I thought at that moment... What? The car broke? Seems like it. This is bad. The house isn't that far away. Let's walk back home. Huh? It's so dark outside. We even have a flashlight. There's only one. Okay. Should we stay here until the morning? The house is just a little farther. We left the car. A walk, a walk, a night walk. Don't let go of Mama's hand, okay? It's so dark. Huh? <laughs> huh? Something wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry for scaring you. I was in the mountains gathering crops. Huh? I was walking down the mountain when I slipped, 
fell, knocked out. Time flew by. My phone broke on the impact and I wasn't able to call anybody. It was already night time. Can you possibly lend me your phone? I'll call my family and have them pick me up. Of course, I'll thank you for your efforts. I see. This time, you're snoring? I felt like something inside of me broke. <laughs> How dare you! The hell is wrong with you? Get off your butt! <laughs> uh, welcome home. You welcome home, me? What the hell are you doing? Uh, I got home and was so scared that I hid under the blankets and I fell asleep. Well, I'm glad you're safe. <laughs> You're not hurt anywhere, Tsutsuji? Don't touch me! You have no right to be Tsutsuji's father! What? It's our responsibility to protect our children! You left your child behind and ran! You're no father! You even knew that we could have been in real danger! You didn't even call the police! Not even our neighbors! You could have done so much, but you didn't do any of that! <laughs> Seems like we're worthless to you, huh? No, that's not... Uh, I see. That's why you can keep cheating on me like nothing's wrong. Uh. This marriage is over! I can't stand to be with you anymore! Now, we're in the middle of a divorce. I can't believe there was a time when I thought that it was okay with him cheating on me because I loved him! Now he's dirt to me. Ta-da! You know why I'm suing you for cheating on me, yes? You have a daughter, and yet you kept on chatting with that other woman. Have you got no shame for yourself? You better be prepared for what I got in store for you. I'm going to hire a lawyer, so resistance is futile. You better prepare to pay me for damages. You're a good for nothing, and I hope you get what you deserve. I don't have one speck of remorse. I'll corner him like a rat. My name is Tokusa. There's a beautiful model-type upperclassman who goes to my school. She was so pretty that none of the boys could talk to her. She was on another level. Morning, Takusa. G good morning. This was a rather rural area with lots of farmers, so she was kind of famous in this area. So it was only a matter of time before the rumor spread around. Hey, Takusa, have you heard? There's a girl named Yuri that goes to your school, right? Yeah, what's up? That girl. I heard that Mr. Tachibana's eldest son proposed to her. The Tachibana family. Everyone knows that name around this area. They're a rich farming family. Their eldest son, Akamatsu, he's called, is 41 years old. A 41-year-old seriously proposed to a high school girl who just turned 17? What? There's no way! I know, right? It was such an unbelievable story, I thought for sure it was a lie! The next day, when I went to school, everyone was talking about it! At the time, there was a TV drama being shown where the heroine was being forced into marriage. That might have caused people's imaginations to run wild, but Yuri herself... It's true! Uh, I was really surprised! Confirmed the rumors! Which started an even bigger fuss! Uh, Don't give us that crap! We'll never let Sweet Yuri marry an old guy like that! That's right! Hold on, guys. I'm gonna turn him down, so calm down. But... I heard that your parents owe Mr. Tachibana a favor, so you can't refuse his offer. Your family's dead. Why do you know so much? That's right. I can't turn him down. I can't cause my parents any trouble. That means... But it's okay. If I can't turn him down, then I'll have him retract his offer! So everyone leave! Shoo shoo! That's so cute! Yuri and Akamatsu haven't met each other. The plan was for them to meet next year, when Yuri turns 18. Sure, there is plenty of time, but... She said that she was going to turn Akamatsu down, but I wonder what she's planning. A month passed, and Yuri was still her normal self. However... The first day back to school after the end of summer vacation three months later... Morning! 
Money! We all realized what Yuri's plan was. It looks like you're fattening up nicely, Yuri. What? Want this? What? Yeah, thanks! Yes, that was Yuri's plan. To get Ooh. really fat. All that Akamatsu knows about me is from the rumors he's heard that I'm cute and pretty, have a nice smile, and I'm in shape, that I'm an elegant, polite girl. Aren't you embarrassed saying all that? I am. But it's because it's all true that Akamatsu thinks I'm that kind of girl! So I'm going to destroy that vision! Yuri... <laughs> you're so cool. On the day Yuri and Akamatsu were to meet... Excuse me! Oh! I've been looking forward to meeting you! Low tables are hard to sit at, aren't they? Ah! I like these snacks! Can I have one? Sure. These are great! Ow, 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 ow. Ah, Akamatsu, does this restaurant serve soda? The marriage proposal was swiftly retracted. Once the marriage talk was called off, Yuri started losing weight. Half a year later, she was back to her original beautiful self. She really is an impressive person. A few years later, I took over my family's business and became a farmer. I've talked with... Mr. Akamatsu several times on work occasions, but... Hey, do you know a chick called Yuri? Yeah, she was an upperclassman at my school. A few years ago, there was this rumor going around that she was a real beauty. Yes, I've also heard that rumor. <laughs> that chick was unbelievable! Why was there a rumor like that going around about such a fatty? <laughs> I heard she just had a kid! I'm surprised she could even have gotten married! Who'd want to marry her?! There's no way that rumor was true! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Akamatsu thought I was laughing at his story, but the truth is... <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't marry her! <laughs> we were all laughing at Akamatsu! <laughs> My stepmother keeps making cutting remarks and harasses me every time she sees me. Here, have some coffee. Huh? I don't like coffee. Oh my, your shoes are a mess. So careless. I lined them up though. Ah, my bag. Oh, I didn't notice. I'm so sorry. You haven't had lunch yet, right? Have some Chirashi sushi. Ah, thank you so much. It looks so good. Oh, you want some soy sauce, right? I'll pour some on for you. <laughs> this kept on going, so I asked my husband for help, but... Your mother was bullying me again. Don't get so mad. It's probably all in your head. He doesn't seem to understand. You're coming to my house for the New Year holidays, right? Huh? No, I don't want to go. Huh? Why's that? Because... She'll bully me again. It's probably not even a big deal. What did you say? Calm down. Mother probably just messed up without thinking about it. He doesn't get it at all. If that's the case. Oh? Ah, uh, hello, stepmother. It's been a while. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be visiting for the New Year holidays. I would like to mention, I actually developed a shellfish allergy. That's right, I can't eat shrimp or crab. Huh? I get an allergic reaction just by touching them. I can't even look at them. Yes, that's why I'll bring over some meat. So it would be great if we had shabu shabu instead. Yes, I'll see you on New Year's Day. Hey, what's with that allergy? I had no clue. That was a lie, of course. Huh? Uh, I'll email her just in case. If I eat shellfish, my life will be in danger. All right, this is a go. Better not forget about this phone call. Sure. New Year's Day. Happy New Year! My, my, come on in. Happy New Year. I made a New Year's feast for all of you. It took a lot of hard work. Isn't this amazing? This king crab is big even for Amayoko's shopping street standards. There's boiled crab and deep water shrimp as well. Huh? Could this be... What's the matter, everyone? 
Just as I thought. Mother, didn't Tsutsuchi tell you that she has a shellfish allergy? What? What? I heard of no such thing. When she called you on the phone, I was right next to her, listening the entire time. I don't think I had that phone call. Stop playing dumb! Are you trying to kill Tsutsuji? Are you a murderer? I didn't get such a phone call! I even sent you an email about my allergy, you know. I have proof. What? You have no excuse. What's the meaning of this, mother? What do you have to say for yourself? <sighs> Actually, the shellfish allergy was a lie. What? I just wanted to prove that you've been bullying me, so I tricked you. How could you? You're the worst! That's right, I never did like you! I hate you from the bottom of my heart! Mother, are you serious? You're awful! Azami, you... Uh, no, this is all wrong! tsutsuji -san. I deeply apologize. Uh, no. I'm not coming back home ever again! So, Father, can you make sure that Tsutsuji will never have to see Mother ever again? Yes. It's for the best. Tsutsuji, let's go back! Okay. From then on, I cut ties with my stepmother and spent my New Year holidays peacefully at home. I made some sukiyaki! If you do anything to Tsutsuji again, I'm cutting ties with you permanently! Got it? Probably thanks to my husband's lecture. My stepmother stopped coming to her house, and now we're at peace. This is the story of the time I went to visit my boyfriend's parents to announce our plans to get married. I'm four years older than him. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuri. Yuri, welcome! Our daughter, Karin, is out coaching today, so please forgive her absence. Please, come in! Okay, thank you. You have so many trophies! Isn't it cool? I had heard stories, but this family has some insane athletic abilities. My dad was a regular on a famous baseball team and even played in the Koshian High School baseball tournament back in his day. Mother used to hold a national rank in soft tennis. Karin completed an intercollegial volleyball. She was even offered a spot on a professional team. Right now, she is a gym teacher. My fiancé also played in the Koshian baseball tournament when he was younger. So bright! Yuri also played volleyball when she was in high school. Please excuse me, but how tall are you? I'm five foot. Five feet? He's pitying me! That's so sad! I'm sure they never let you play any matches because you were too short, right? Uh, um... Dad, actually, Yuri. Yes, tell him I was a regular player! Tachibana even showed you a picture, remember? Said she was a regular player and showed me a picture, but it was definitely a doctored picture. Tachibana, did I really have a picture like that? No matter how short you are, any girl playing volleyball has to be at least 5 foot 7 inches. You remember when the national volleyball team used players that were around 5 foot and let their shot at the Olympics go? Even in this house, my mother-in-law is the shortest and she is 5 foot 7 inches! I'm home! Sorry I'm late. I'm Tachibana's older sister, Karin. Wait, are you Yuri from Atora High School? Huh? Why do you know my name? Don't you remember me? When I was in my first year of high school, your team played against mine. Sis, what do you mean played against? That'd be possible if she was a regular, but Yuri... Huh? What are you saying? Yuri's awesome! She'd return the ball no matter where it won! She was an amazing libero! I lost after a full set and a do set! Oh, it's not that big a deal. So that picture was real? It wasn't shot? Of course it isn't fake. I was there and saw it myself. Furthermore, you've only played baseball. You have no idea how amazing Yuri is. You've got terrible grades and we're going to be held back and could only go to Koshian because we went around begging a bunch of people for help. And Dad, you want your grandkid to play in the Koshian, right? And what if I do? I'm saying that you shouldn't shut out everyone who you think isn't athletic looking or doesn't seem suited for sports. Um, uh... I felt a little better thanks to Karin, but... Eh, uh, I was going to be held back? I was stupid? Twelve years later, something even more satisfying than today happened. 
a player who was only about five foot won a bronze medal in the Olympics. I can't resist. Grandpa's house. Father, Kuroki says he wanted to see you so we can came to play. Did you happen to see the women's Olympic volleyball match? Uh, uh. Father, it seems like you can get an Olympic medal even if you aren't five foot seven inches. Uh. Ah, I feel better. Mama, will you play volleyball today? By the way, right now my sister-in-law and I are teammates on a mother's volleyball team. Of course, Karin plays left, and I play Libero. At that time, I had an acquaintance at college named Akamatsu, who was working part-time at a franchise ramen shop. The ramen chain was popular because it had soup and other types of side dishes. It also had spicy ramen on the menu. Akamatsu thought he could use that spicy ramen to play jokes on the customers. One spicy ramen. All right then, one spicy ramen. Here you are, one spicy ramen. My super spicy ultra ramen. The first time he served it was when a guy from school that Akamatsu didn't like came to the restaurant. Enjoy my super spicy ramen. Akamatsu enjoyed his reaction so much that he started serving the spicy ramen to other customers as well. He avoided serving it to people who might get mad at him, like punks that might start trouble, or guys that were in good shape. He only served it to adult office workers who came alone, or to nerdy looking customers. The reactions were varied. Some took a single bite, and then just left like that. Some were convinced that this is just that kind of ramen, and forced themselves to continue eating. Their faces turned red and dripping sweat. Akamatsu said, that out of every 10 customers he gave the super spicy ramen to, one or two were able to finish it. One day, a nerdy looking customer ordered the spicy ramen. One spicy ramen. That day, something bad had happened and Akamatsu was in an especially foul mood. And he made the ultra super spicy ramen twice as spicy before serving it. After one bite, the customer's face turned red and the blood immediately drained from his face. The next instant, he quietly fell out of his chair. Apparently, the ramen was so spicy that the customer had fainted. Oh, crap. Akamatsu panicked and called 911 for an ambulance. The customer's life wasn't in any danger, but the real problem starts here. A few days later, Akamatsu, Come here for a second. Manager Tachibana. Akamatsu, you did it, didn't you? Crap, does he know it's my fault? Huh, what do you mean? Answer me honestly, you did it, right? What's the big deal? You can't hit me just because you're the manager. The manager who used to be a boxer easily overwhelmed Akamatsu, completely defeated. Akamatsu explained everything he had been doing. Akamatsu's actions were, of course, very bad. But the manager had a reason to resort to violence. When the customer passed out and fell over, he hit his head in a bad place and was seriously injured. Luckily, there wasn't any permanent injuries, but... I'm going to sue that ramen chain headquarters and crush them all! The manager and an executive from the headquarters desperately begged the customer for forgiveness. In the end, the matter was settled out of court by paying a large lump sum to the customer. Akamatsu was fired from the ramen shop. But that's not all. The ramen franchise billed Akamatsu for the same amount as the reparation cost. When Akamatsu explained everything to his parents, they almost disowned him. Since his punishment was already decided, they didn't make him drop out of school. However, he was banned from joining any club activities, travel, graduation trips, and drinking parties. He would work until he graduated to pay off the reparation costs. <laughs> After he started working, Akamatsu continued to pay. A portion of his monthly salary and his bonuses were confiscated, and he was only left with 100 for entertainment expenses per month. The rest was taken by his family to pay back his debt and to help with living expenses. Every day for lunch, he'd have a simple meal of rice with a picked plum. Going out for lunch with his coworkers and grabbing a drink after work seemed like a dream. Of course, he made no new friends at work. 
When Akamatsu turned 30, he was finally able to pay off all his debt. He somehow managed to get married. Since he had no extra money to spare, he was partially dependent on his wife for financial support. They are living frugally at his parents' home. Up until now is what Akamatsu himself bitterly told me when he was drinking the other day for the first time in ages. I feel bad saying it, but it felt like Akamatsu had already given up on life, even though he was only in his 30s. I feel a little bad for him, but he gets what he deserves. How about we change locations? Do you want to get ramen? Sorry. I never want to look at ramen again. Ah, uh, oh. My bad. School. At the elementary school I went to, our homeroom teacher only taught two subjects. Japanese language and social studies. The rest of the subjects all had different teachers. The next class is... Oh, drawing class. Why did you use that color? When you draw the sky, use blue. When you draw clouds, use white. Okay, now redraw it. Why did you choose such a dirty color? When you draw trees, use green and color it carefully. Redraw it. How can she say that when she told us to draw freely? The teacher pushed her preferences onto us, and in the end, everyone ended up drawing the same scene. I really didn't like that drawing class. One day... Today's theme is family. Please draw freely about family. We will be submitting the finished pieces to an art competition. Family? I know! I'll draw my aunt and uncle because I love them so much. I want to draw the flower garden when they take me to play a lot too. What are you drawing? Are you taking this project seriously? <laughs> Redraw it. <laughs> She's gonna rip it up. P please stop. It's one of my favorite memories with my aunt and uncle. What did you say? If you have complaints about my class, then get out. Hmm? Susuji? Miss Kari. Why are you standing in the hallway? The drawing teacher kicked me out of class. What? Why? She said I wasn't taking the project seriously. Can you show me what you were drawing? Why, this is a wonderful drawing. I wonder why Miss Azami was angry. Miss Azami, please excuse me. Could you tell me what was wrong with Susuji's drawing? I can't be bothered to teach kids that draw like that. Now please don't disrupt my class any further, Miss Kareen. Uh, excuse me. The drawing teacher even kicked out our homeroom teacher, Miss Kareen. Okay, Susuji. Let's draw somewhere else other than the art room. When you're finished, would you bring your drawing to where I am? Okay! Without the drawing teacher here, I can draw whatever I want. I finished the drawing by myself. Miss Kareen, I finished! Can I hold on to this drawing? Hmm? Okay! Miss Kareen sent my drawing to the prefectural art competition. Congratulations on first place, Susuji. I sent it in without telling Mrs. Zami. What's more, it was selected for the national competition. And it won first place there, too. Congratulations. Congrats, Susuji. Oh, but thank you very much. I don't know if it's related, but the drawing teacher changed the next year. Today we will go outside and draw. Everyone please go outside and draw freely. Oh, Susuji. That color. That's a very nice color. There is no right or wrong in drawing. Please draw what you feel is best. Teacher, please tell me how to draw this. Okay, okay, I'm coming. He praised me. Drawing class became my favorite class. Darling, sign this paper. It came about so suddenly. I'm Katsura. My wife Akane suddenly handed me divorce papers. What are you saying? It's so sudden! It's not sudden. This is something I decided a while ago. What are you going to do when you leave, Akane? You don't have a job! I have a boyfriend right now. Huh? So I want to hurry up and separate so I can be together with him. What about Yuri? She's still only five years old! I can give her to you. She's a daddy's girl anyway. 
In return, give me half of your savings. If that's all it'll take for her to give up on our child, then it's a good deal. I can't leave Yuri with a mother like this. I understand. At that time, I didn't understand anything about compensation due to divorce. I gave the money to my wife, just as she asked. Ten years later. Papa, I found the sack you were looking for yesterday. Really? Where was it? Thanks a lot. It was in the space between the washing machine and the wall. You just tossed it again, didn't you? My bad, my bad. Okay, I'm going now. Yuri grew up to be such a good girl. It's all thanks to you guys, Mom. I don't think I could have done it on my own. I've made back all the money I gave to Akane as well. That's good to hear. You're also saving for Yuri's college fund as well. After finalizing the divorce, we were living peacefully at my parents' house. One day, I got a call from my ex-wife. It's from Akane. Huh? Why now, after all this time? You don't have to answer that. Well, something might have happened. <laughs> Hello? It's Akane. How have you been? It's been a while. I'm sorry for suddenly calling you like this, but I'd like to meet you and talk face to face. I wonder what she wants. It sounds serious. Okay, let's meet. Papa! Why didn't you tell her that? She betrayed us! Nothing good can come from meeting her! Well, I thought I'd just hear her out. It's okay, don't worry about it. I still had some regrets, and still felt some attraction towards Akane. So I met her at a nearby family restaurant. Thank you for meeting me today. I thought for sure you wouldn't want to. Well, you didn't sound so great over the phone. Your boyfriend. Are things going alright with him? Things didn't work out with him. We ended up breaking up after a year. After that, I worked a bunch of part-time jobs. I'm just making ends meet. I see. Um, I do whatever it takes, so... Do you think we could start over as husband and wife again? Yuri says she doesn't want to see you. I'm sure it would be unpleasant if both of you were to meet. Oh... I really am sorry. I betrayed both you and Yuri and left you. I really am the worst, aren't I? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't be with you. But I have some money I've saved for Yuri if that would help you out. Really? Thank you. So would you tell me your bank account number and password then? On the way home, I gave her my bank book and personal seal and told her my password. I'll only take out half. Sorry for this, but thanks. And with that, Akane left. I'm home! Papa? What did you take from the house? Did you give her something? Uh, my personal seal and bank book? What? Are you crazy? What were you thinking? Give me your phone. I'll call Mama now and get that money back. We cannot uh, connect you to the number you have dialed. By the customer's request, all calls are being declined. Well, look at that! She blocked you! Didn't they tell you this would happen? Yuri, calm down. How can I calm down? Please listen to what Papa has to say. During that time, Akane... That can't be right! What's going on? The money in the account attached to the bank book I gave her was withdrawn long ago, and is in a different account. I forgot to record that in the bank book and gave it to Akane just like that, so I'm sure she'll give up after this. With this, I think I finally cut all ties with that woman. I can't praise you using your own laziness as a weapon. My ex-wife immediately started calling me non-stop. I guess I'll have to answer. Hello? Um, it's Akane. About the money. I see. You called to express your gratitude, right? I'm so moved. No, uh, there was only 200 yen in there. You can buy some instant noodles, can't you? Hey! Gotta be kidding! Don't call me again, money-grabbing woman. After that, I blocked her number, and I never heard from Akane again. Hmm? The neighbor's car. It's a Benz? Hey, Sotsuji. Isn't our car nice? Oh, good evening. What is my neighbor doing? Who, who is that? My mistress. Your mistress? 
I quit my job too, so I have plenty of time to fool around, you know. I won the lottery, so it's fine. Huh? Hey, Yuri! I'm going out, so don't be stealing the money in the safe! Okay, have a safe trip. The food you make here is terrible, so we're going out to eat. No dinner for you either, got it? Yes, it's his wife. This is domestic violence, isn't it? Yuri, are you okay? It looked like he was treating you really poorly. Yes, don't worry. I just have to put up with it. After that, Yuri's husband took his mistress everywhere and treated her to all sorts of luxuries, while Yuri looked worse and worse. Yuri, let's talk to the police. At this rate, you'll... No, it's fine. I don't know what will happen if I do that. I'm not brave enough. So don't let it bother you. It wouldn't be good if you found out that you were suggesting this either. Later that same night... Hmm? Help me! I'm going to be killed! What? The neighbor? What's going on? Ah! Hey, I won't let you escape. Ah, police! Ten minutes ago at the neighbor's house. Oh, he's home. It doesn't look like that woman is here either. Darling. Oh, Yuri. Let's eat dinner at home today. Make me something, would you? Hey, divorce me. Huh? What are you saying? I can't take it anymore. I'm not your slave. Just marry your mistress. You can make her your slave. That's... she's not around anymore. You can't fool me that easily. No, I'm not lying. She left me. She stole all the money in the safe and left. Huh? It's almost yours now. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Just the two of us. You really are worthless. I've made up my mind. <laughs> Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Mm. We can't show this embarrassing scene to the neighbors. Come ah, along now. Stop! The next morning... Coming! Oh, I'm sorry you had to see that yesterday. I've decided to go back to my parents' house. Thank you for everything. Now, please excuse me. I wonder what her husband is doing. No way. Could he be dead? Excuse me! The door is unlocked. <laughs> After his wife left, the neighbor remained out of work and became an alcoholic. There was no longer anyone around to help him. It serves him right, I think. I'm Karin. Ah, oh, my brother. It's been a while. I've got a message for my brother, Hiragi. I have no dreams or hopes anymore. I even lost you along with a lovely marriage. I am so foolish to only realize how much you meant to me only after I lost you. Please forgive me. I wish to believe the magnificent throne in your heart only belongs to me. No, I do not wish. I believe I shall message you again, my beloved Sutsuji. A soliloquy out of nowhere. He said it to me on accident. Sasuji san is the former wife of my brother. It's all because you cheated on her. What the heck is Magnificent Throne? Oh well, why are you even messaging her? Seriously, just let Sasuji san go! This is Karin. I think my brother meant to send this to you. I CC'd my entire family and sent the message. My dumb brother is going crazy, so be careful! I also forwarded to Sasuji san to warn her. Dear, what's this? We have to talk. Come back. Right now. Dad was upset at my brother when he was divorcing. My brother kept threatening to kill himself and cause trouble for sasuji sons parents, so Dad was livid. I'll die! I can't live without Tsutsuji! Shut up! Brother came back. He came back from work early and is now being lectured. You understand why I've called you, correct? Yes. All you've done to tsutsuji san is cause her trouble! So what's with this throne nonsense? Don't say such idiotic things! I was wrong. Tsutsuji's the only one for me. Shut the hell up! 
he was scolded late into the night. Apparently, my brother didn't send his poem to me by mistake. He didn't know Satsuji-san's contact information, so he wanted me to send it to her. Tsutsuji, forgive me for my sins. What an idiot. Dad took away my brother's cell phone. However, this time, my brother sent Tsutsuji-san a letter instead. <laughs> send this to Tsutsuji. Be sure to send it to her. Don't tell father. Are you serious? Dear Tsutsuji, I have no choice but to send messages through Karin. Forgive me, for I too am vexed by this situation. Tsutsuji, I will not tell you I love you through a mere letter. I want to tell you face to face when I am once again nestled in the magnificent throne in your heart. <laughs> this is unlike me. I really want to say this to you. I love you, Tsutsuji. I shall send you a letter once more. Magnificent throne. He sure likes this phrase. Didn't he just say he won't say, I love you? He does it right here! How are we related? Of course, I sent a pic of the letter to Dad. Dad, Hidagi sent another message. Mom was crying while cutting cabbage in the kitchen. Where did I go wrong? You were such a good child. <laughs> Dad called him again. Dad looked at my brother as if he was filled and forced him to explain what magnificent throne meant. What's this magnificent throne business? The, uh, the position of a husband? Oh, and? Uh. If you really meant the position of a husband, then why not just write it like that? Don't you think twice when you write such embarrassing garbage like magnificent throne? You even used it twice. This must have a meaning so deep that it rivals the Grand Canyon. There's no way you pull this out of your ass as if there wasn't something more to it, right? So what is it? Dad's so mad. Brother's crying. Anybody would cry if they were scolded like this for an hour. But my brother just won't quit. You got mail. You got a telegram. What? Tsutsuji-san's family ended up getting a telegram. Why the heck is it attached to balloons? Your ex-husband sent you a telegram. Eh? Why? Tsutsuji-san found out through her mother. I don't need words. I don't need anything in return. Congratulations on your marriage. I hope you have a bright future with your husband. That husband's me. This is so hilariously pathetic. Where is that idiot? Ah! Mom kept mixing salted rice bran for an entire hour. My brother knew that dad had found out, so he fled to her eldest brother's house. Tsuji san's my sister-in-law, but she was formerly my middle school senpai and friend. Karin chan will always be my friend, which makes it hard for me to completely cut him off. Even if I were to tell him he can't come near me, there's probably no point. I feel bad about that. It's fine. I'm sorry my brother's like this. This is off topic, but dad went to see my brother. He punched him in the face, my older brother told me. My brother's been exiled to an old man's farm in Hokkaido. Come back after you built some character! Sutsuji! <laughs> I'm Tsutsuji. I'm a wedding planner. I've helped with many weddings, but there was one wedding I can never forget. That time... Thank you for your service. It was a young teen couple. Let's make this a great wedding! Okay. okay! This was an unusual case. My father is my only family. I want him to come to the wedding, but... Just go ahead and marry him. I won't come. He was pretty cruel. We just want everyone to bless our marriage. I understand. Let's go talk to your father again. I'll come with you. Thank you so much. The wedding is very important to them. Can you please attend the wedding? What? I already told you before. I won't go. Do whatever you want. You don't have to say it like that. Father, I beg of you. Yuri, son, please calm down. Fine. I hate you. I see. Then leave. I apologized to him multiple times. Those two really wish for you to attend the wedding. Please, do it for them. Ugh, my answer won't change. Also, this has nothing to do with you. 
My job is to make their wedding the best it could possibly be. Why can't Dad understand? He's sure to listen to us if we go see him again. It really was tough, but that day... Sasuji-san, you got a phone call from Yuri-san's father. Huh? Is Yuri there? No, I don't have a meeting with her today. Okay, I'll come over then. W what? I want to talk with you alone. What's he going to say? Sorry this is sudden. Oh no, I apologize for bothering you so much. He spoke with a soft voice. Yuri, she was smaller than the other babies. He began to explain little by little. I was worried if I could raise her properly. But she was a healthy kid. At her school festival, I did my best to get her to first place. Dad, this is so embarrassing! I was shocked at her words. She became rebellious, and she wouldn't even respond to me. The day she came back from her school trip, after I came back from work, there was a present she got me on the table. It made me so happy that I still use it today. I expected this to happen much later, but one day, she came back with a man and said he's her fiancé. My daughter is dear to me. I believe my daughter found a good fiancé. It's just that I'm not ready yet. Hey, Tsutsuji-san, what kind of clothes should I wear at the wedding? I haven't bought new clothes for years, so I have no clue. Leave it up to me! If you have any questions, please ask! That night, my father went to see you in the office? When I told her what her father said, why can't he be more honest with me? Dad, you idiot! Days later, Yuri-san and I went to choose her father's clothes. I'll find something nice looking for you. The wedding was a success. Or not. Now the bride shall throw the bouquet. Huh? Why isn't Yuri-san tossing it already? Maybe she's having some trouble? Sasuji-san! Huh? This wedding had been perfect. Thank you. When her father said I had nothing to do with this, I thought I was making a mistake. Maybe I crossed the line. I was so worried. I was so happy when she told me thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yuri-san had told the other guests about what I did. Everybody applauded for me. Several years later, a New Year card from Yuri-san. Her father looks so happy. Yuri-san has been sharing your happiness with me even now. <laughs> From my earliest memories to the end of kindergarten, my family was really big. My father and mother, my brother and me, Mr. Tachibana and his family, Mr. Hiraki and his family, Mr. Akamatsu and his family, and grandmother. All together, our family had 18 people. All the other kids didn't go to school, so it was strange that I was going to kindergarten. Of the kids, Mr. Tachibana's daughter was our leader. She was old enough to be in the 4th or 5th grade, but she didn't go to school. You have to listen to whatever I say! For the kids that didn't go to school or kindergarten and didn't play with kids outside the family, Makani's word was law. In our house, grandmother was the most powerful. To us kids, Akane was most powerful. This was set in stone. At the start of the new school year, Akane's new homeroom teacher was a teacher who was really passionate about education. The teacher was worried about Akane because she didn't go to school and would often visit the house. I wonder who that could be. It's probably Akane's teacher again. He comes every day. How annoying. I told him that Akane is doing fine. What a nuisance. He's bothering Grandmother. We must do whatever it takes to drive him away. Because Grandmother's word was absolute, all the adults immediately agreed. Uh-huh. <laughs> After that, whenever Akane's teacher would come... Um, about Akane... You again! You're sure persistent! I'll call the cops if you don't leave! Okay, kids, that man is a bad man! You can do whatever you want to make him leave! Under the adult's direction, the kids shot BBs at the teacher from the second floor. Let's throw this! Oh, firecrackers! Let's do it! Huh? <laughs> Everyone was laughing, but I was scared. I couldn't go against what the others say. I didn't know what to do. Yuri, you haven't been acting like yourself lately. What's wrong? Miss Kari. I secretly told my kindergarten teacher what had happened and about other things that happened at home. Huh? I don't really remember what happened after that, but my family quickly broke up and separated. As for us, 
My father, my brother, and I left my mother and moved to a prefecture far away. After some time passed, I wonder what that was all about. Was it a dream? I found myself wondering. Several decades passed. My father passed away. At his wake, the topic happened to come up when talking with my brother. Yuri, you were so young at the time you probably didn't understand, but those weren't our relatives or family members. It was a religious cult. Huh? The person you thought was grandmother was the cult leader. Everyone else were worshippers. But you telling your kindergarten teacher what was going on ended up being the start of what led to the cult breaking up. According to my brother, as a result of telling my kindergarten teacher, the adults were reported for not allowing the kids to go to school as well as domestic violence. So that's what happened. I didn't really realize any of that had happened. Me too. I always thought of that time as a dream. As for my mother... Mumble, mumble, mumble. She remained hooked on that religion and never decided to leave. I'm Yuri. I'm dating a guy named Akamatsu. It's from Akamatsu. Where are you now? Sorry for the late reply. I'm with a friend in Etera Cafe. Who? With Karin and Tsuji. When did you get there? Which train are you taking home? From about 2 p.m. and around 5 p.m. Not a pause. Tell me exactly. Whoa, that's seriously creepy. Huh? What are you talking about, Karin? No way! Why are you looking at me like I'm the bad guy here? Yuri, that boyfriend of yours is bad news. What are you guys talking about? Ah! Yuri's boyfriend is the ultra-controlling type. Whoa, that's crazy. My parents don't even ask these kind of questions. <gasps> this isn't just possessiveness? This isn't normal? Akamatsu gets jealous really easily. If he doesn't know what I'm doing at all times, he gets annoyed. But I never thought that was unusual. Okay, okay. I'll be sure to tell him to relax a little. Just a little? Even this time, I honestly don't think I realized it yet. I asked Akamatsu, why am I the only one being watched so closely all the time? He said, I wouldn't mind if you did the same to me. Because I would never cheat on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which means <laughs> that Akamatsu thinks that I'm going to cheat on him? Around that time is when Akamatsu started tightening his control. Until then, he only wanted to know where I was going, what time I left, and when I was going to be back. But he started to demand I tell him what food I ate that day, and the names and contact information of everyone I met while I was out. His jealousy only deepened. So the other day, Tsutsuji... Tsutsuji? I don't know the name! Have you been hiding something from me? Huh? Finally. Oh, hi, Yuri. Uh, hello. Who's that? My uncle. He used to play with me a lot when I was a kid. I never thought I'd run into him in a place like this. Huh, is that so? Don't talk to him anymore. What? What? Why? Why? That should be obvious. You're my girlfriend, and that's why. That's when I finally snapped. We broke up. No matter how much Akamatsu pressured me, I didn't forgive him. At first, he got really angry and yelled at me over the phone. Hey, Yuri, come on. I'm sorry. Just tell me what I need to change. But then he changed his tune and started pleading with me. One day... I want to return the stuff I borrowed. Can we meet up? Oh, that reminds me. We hadn't talked for a while, so I decided to meet him. Later that same day... Here you go. It's been a while, Yuri. How have you been? It was a coincidence running into this chick. Hey, after this, we're gonna go grab a drink. Huh? What? He set this up so he could brag about his new girlfriend in front of me? You gotta be kidding me! That... That... Makes me so happy! Oh, is that so? Then we don't have any more reasons to ever see each other again! I hope you both are happy together! Huh? Bye, Akamatsu! Huh? Wait up! An hour later, I got a call from Akamatsu's new girlfriend. Hmm? I'm not his girlfriend. I knew Akamatsu from the hostess club I work at. He told me he wants to get his girlfriend back and asked me to please help him. He thought you would get jealous and come back, but it looks like you really let him have it. It seems like you were really important to him. 
I really couldn't get him to tell me anything, so I don't really know what is going on. Would you please tell me what happened? Oh, sure. It all started, and then... Agamatsu... What? It's all your what? fault! Agamatsu, you piece of trash! Women aren't things you can own! It's good for nothing! Huh? Huh? This lady said everything that I wanted to say for me, which was very refreshing.